There's quite a lot going on in the K-12 uh, school market for curriculum materials right now. The first force at work, uh, we can call the shift to digital, where schools and districts are adopting more digital resources and perhaps putting their traditional books on the shelf. The second force, uh, let's call that the Common Core State Standards Mandate, and that's forcing schools and districts to re-examine their programs and probably to adopt new programs that are more closely aligned to these new learning standards. Our report is basically an analysis of what's going on in the market and companies who participate in the market uh, use that report to compare their own performance against what's happening in the industry at large. On the surface, it looks like the market was pretty quiet in 2012, down a small fraction. You have the digital side of the market uh, increasing about 5.6%, whereas you have the traditional product side, the non-digital side, decreasing about 4, 4.5%. Four, so uh, the, the, the slow and steady overall kind of disguises the fact that the digital is growing whereas the traditional products are not growing nearly as well. At a company level we saw that uh, in 2011 companies were reporting that digital made up about 26 percent of total sales that leaped a little bit to about 30 percent in 2012 and now we see it going to about 33, 34 percent in 2013. Our report is uh, the, uh, the annual statistical report for the industry in this marketplace since we have of most of the major players participating. We have a very representative sample representing the trends in the market. So those who read the report are able to compare their own performance to what's going on in the industry as a whole. Based on the data, uh, we foresee that the uh, market will grow in 2013 uh, in the neighborhood of 4%. But there will be uh, bigger jumps, we expect, in the areas most affected by the shift to digital and the uh, changeover to the common core. Uh, in 2012, for example, the areas that were most affected included online digital content, computers and mobile devices, and interactive whiteboards. We would guess that those will uh, be favorably affected again uh, in, in this current year. Uh, in addition to that, uh, in 2014-15, we have the Common Core assessments coming down the pike, which all of the states will be implementing. So because of that, we would think that assessment and test preparation will also be two hot areas for growth. For more than three decades, Simba Information has published detailed market intelligence studies for the media and publishing industries, with a specific emphasis on the education and professional publishing sectors. Each Simba report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in-depth interviews with executives, key equity analysts, librarians, distributors, and school administrators. Simba's analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segments segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future.